Dear Chairman, dear colleagues, thank you for this kind invitation, which is a great honor and pleasure for me. In contrast to the situation in Asia, in Western countries, we have a decrease of gastric cancer and an increase of junction cancer. And if you look to the five-year survival rates, you can see that the five-year survival rates in Japan and Asia is much better. And in Europe, same in uh, Switzerland, it's uh, poor prognosis for gastric cancer. And one important reason for this is that we have not 60%, like in Japan or Korea, of early cancer. We have the majority advanced and metastatic cancer. And if you look for this big series from the Munich Center, from Professor Sievert, you can realize that the advanced stages have a very, very bad prognosis. These are data from Geneva, and 100 patients treated between 2014 and 2007. And the majority has only palliative uh, um, chemotherapy, and in Geneva with taxan based And only some patients had surgical resection because of perforation, and some were treated in a multimodality concept. And you can see the results are bad. Two-year survival, 14%, and three-year survival, 4%. And with chemotherapy, you can have a two-year survival of 10 to 20%, and a median survival less than one year. And there is a controversial debate since 20 years. Is there a place of surgery in metastatic disease or not? If you look to the guidelines here, the ESMO guidelines, there is no place. There is chemotherapy only with very bad results. And if you look to new um, publications from ESMO, and this is for the esophageal cancer, metastatic cancer, no place. But the real world is different. The discussion in the tumor balls is totally different. And if you look to this, two leading Japanese surgeons, Kodera and Yoshida, are published this in gastric cancer. And the discussion is to have surgery not only in a multimodality concept, uh, but even in volume reduction surgery. All this is discussed, and on the Gastric Cancer Congress in Prague in uh, May, it was a real controversy and important debate. And if you look to these two cases, this is both stage four, and it's uh, both a metastatic situation, but the prognosis is really different. So I think we have to discuss these different things. And we have data from the Dutch trial. It's an old trial from the 90s, and we want to look if uh, a lymphadenectomy is a good procedure in gastric cancer. And there were 280 cases with palliative resection. And there was a clear sign that younger patients and patients with only one metastatic site had an advantage. And if you look to the literature, many, many trials, mostly a case uh, a series, show an advantage of surgery. And one very important point, argument for surgery in advanced cases is that the situation is totally changed. You are see here our data from Cologne, high volume center for gastric and esophageal cancer surgery. In the end of the 90s and in 2000, we had a letality, mortality of esophageal cancer higher than 10%. Now, with minimal invasive surgery, with ERAS programs, and the same is in gastric cancer, we have in the high volume centers a mortality less than 3 and 2 percent. And this is an argument. But if you look to the guidelines, and in Germany we have this year uh, an update done for the uh, gastric and esophageal uh, guideline, palliative chemotherapy is the statement, is the standard. 
But oligometastatic disease and limited metastasis is discussed now in the guidelines. And this is new. And there is a very important point changed. In the old guidelines, there was a clear statement. If you found the liver metastasis, you have to stop the surgery. And this uh, uh, very special comment is now over. And it is possible to continue surgery. And it's important, and I will explain it, why, with metastasectomy. And if you look to the term of oligometastatic disease, it is important. More than 700 items in PubMed, 220 in the last year. And the, the definition is a limited number of metastatic tumors involving single or few organs and with biological properties that make them potentially amenable to local, local regional therapy. And we have one randomized trial. And this is the Regatta trial from Japan and Korean. This trial is uh, comparing chemotherapy with chemotherapy plus gastrectomy, but not with resection of the metastasis. And in the trial, you can see more than 70 persons of peritoneal carcinomatosis. And this is the reason why the trial was negative. There was no resection of the metastasis, and you can clearly summarize surgery without resection of the metastasis, not a zero resection, has no benefit of the patients. The German IO group has conducted this trial with FLOT with three arms. And one arm was neoadjuvant, the second arm was for limited metastasis, and the third arm was for two, a diffuse metastasis situation. And look to the arm B, limited metastasis. This was one organ metastasis plus minus intra-abdominal lymph nodes, a good ECOG status, no diffuse peritoneal carcinomatosis, no lymph angiosis, and not more than five liver metastases. And in this arm, the majority of patients have distant lymph node metastases, followed by liver and lung metastases. And the result of this not randomized trial was that 43% of these patients performed surgery. And there was a clear advantage in the arm of surgery. And this trial led us, our group, to the hypothesis limited metastasis plus intensive chemotherapy, FLOT, with a good response. This can be a place for surgery with metastasectomy and for curation or better prognosis. But we have no randomized trials. And therefore, we have performed this randomized trial. This is the first worldwide randomized trial comparing chemotherapy with multimodality treatment, including surgery. And you can see 271 patients have to be recruited and more than 117 to be randomized in the two arms. Salah Albatran is the lead coordinating investigator. And these are the criteria for limited metastasis. It was a long prog uh, process. And the result of the FLOT3 trial and of our cooperation with worldwide surgeons uh, like uh, Sano and uh, Sasako in Japan. And these uh, criteria are now part of the German uh, S3 uh, guideline for limited or oligometastatic disease. Retroperitoneal lymph node metastasis or and maximal one organ metastasis. And very important, only the localized peritoneal carcinomatosis. Endpoints were overall survival, quality of life. This was always an argument against surgery. Surgical morbidity and mortality and toxicity. This is the trial scheme, and you can see patients with adenocarcinoma of the junction and of the stomach, medical and technical operability of the primary, Metastatic lesions are resectable or can be controlled by local ablative procedure. No pre or chemotherapy. 
the patients will have four cycles of flood, then the randomization, and the surgery arm is with uh, adjuvant chemotherapy, and the chemotherapy arm only with chemotherapy. Now we have 105 patients in the trial, and uh, 74 are randomized, and 40 are done the surgery, and uh, we have to look. And you can see that this is really an important point. In the Netherlands, they have done the same trial, and now they have amendment to the Renaissance trial inclusion criteria. This is uh, in, in, in France, excuse me. And uh, the same is now planned in the Netherlands. My conclusion, standard treatment stage four gastric cancer 2019, if you look to the guidelines, yes, it's chemotherapy. Although not yet recommended by most guidelines, surgery with, and this is the condition, low post-operative mortality may improve survival in patients with synchronous limited metastasis disease. And one condition is a good response. Ongoing randomized clinical trials should be awaited to determine the use of surgery for this limited metastatic gastric cancer disease. Thank you very much.